life. Speaking of which, one final thing for me. I was so I'm wearing a Huey P. Huey P. Newton. Shirt. Yes, you are. Right, so you, Who is you Huey P. Newton for those that don't know? One of the founders of the Black Panthers. So when I was in the uh, the gasoline oasis today, a guy with uh, it was very funny. And all right, let me back up. So I wore a lot of my. I guess some some would say politically themed T-shirts in Puerto Rico, whether it be Malcolm X or, you know, uh, my Kaepernick shirt <laughs> with other people that have set up for social equality. Well, anyway, my wife and daughter said, I hope you don't wear anything that triggers somebody. I'm like, and why would I care? Right. I, I doubt anything south is going to, you know, going to happen. So anyway, I'm, I'm getting gas. This guy's wearing a America some, I couldn't read all the uh, like things, mm-hmm. but they were it's all like USA. One of those guys, uh, and he's looking at me, and I'm like, he's not staring at me. He's looking at my shirt because the very bottom says "Power to the People," and I think it probably then his like whole facial <laughs> expression changed, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, this might be a problem. But he's filling gas up in his Jeep. I'm putting, you know, gas in my car. And I'm just thinking to myself, if he says something to me, what's my response? And my response would have been, if you're listening, you probably aren't. Hey, look, we're all brothers in this in this interesting thing we're doing. And until we can see it from each other's perspective, the look you're giving me will never change. You know? Um, and I just thought he had like a, he had like a, something on his shirt or a tattoo. I, I can't remember which one. It's probably his tattoo, like a second amendment thing. I'm like, yeah, okay. But you're mad if I have a guy yeah. <laughs> like, like holding, the, holding the AK. Yep. So, uh, yeah, that's threatening, you know, but <laughs> so until we get to a point where we can actually have these conversations without, you know, assuming the other person has got malice in their heart. We're always going to be in the same spot, you know. Yeah. All I genuinely want in my life is for people to have the opportunity. Don't give me anything. Don't be nice to me because you feel sorry for me. Just give me the opportunity. To hear the rest, tune into this week's episode of The Chris and Andre Show.